Hello, today we're learning about drawing a rectangular box using Desmos software. So, a rectangular box consists of two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. In order to draw horizontal lines, we have to use the equation y equals to a number. So, in this example, let's say y equals to 40. Can you see a blue horizontal line? So, this means we have successfully drawn a horizontal line. So, to make it into a rectangular box, we have to draw another horizontal line. Let's say the other horizontal line is y equals to negative 40. You see that now there is another green horizontal line at the bottom. Now that we have finished drawing the horizontal line, we need to also draw the vertical lines. So in order to draw the vertical line, we have to use the equation x equals to a number. So let's say x equals to negative 60. Can you see that there is a purple vertical line? To make the whole rectangular box complete, we have to draw another vertical line, which is x equals to 60. Now that we have done this, can you see that I have drawn two vertical lines and two horizontal lines? However, if we zoom out of this graph, we can see that the lines will continue on forever and ever and ever, which is not what we want because we want to draw a box. In order to draw a box, we have to set the limiting range. So in order to set a limiting range, we have to put curly bracket. And for this blue line, we have to know which one is the minimum value and the maximum value. So if we look at the minimum value, x is negative 60, y is 40. We can't pick the y equals 40 value because that's already your equation. Can you see that? So in order to limit your x value, you have to look at the first number, which is negative 60 and 60. So we have to put negative 60. And because this is the x value, okay, the maximum value will be 60. Can you see that now the blue line has been shortened? We have to repeat the same thing for the bottom horizontal line, I can copy and paste. There you go. I have limit, limited the size of my line. So now that I have limited the size of my horizontal line, I want to limit the size of my vertical line. In order to limit that, um, I will draw another curly bracket. Now, we cannot look at the x value because we know that x will always be 60. We need to know the y value. So in this situation, we can see that um, when x is 60, y is, we have to get a dot, y is negative 40. And the maximum value for y will be when x is 60, y is 40. So minimum value is negative 40 for y. And the maximum value is 40. So if I copy and paste this onto the other vertical line, boom, I got a box. So thank you for listening. And um, if you want to learn more, just tell me and I'll post more videos. Bye-bye.